Hey guys, today I'll be doing a demo on PowerDirect's E-Match Dip Kit as well as their pre-made bridge wires. Okay, the first step of using this kit is going to be to open E-Match Bottle A and open the bag of chemicals inside. And then 5 grams of this chemical will be weighed out. Okay, with our 5 grams of Composition A weighed out, I will go ahead and pour this into a glass container. Here I'm using a Pyrex measuring cup. Now to this, I'll add our nitrocellulose lacquer. And I'll just kind of dip it out with a butter knife, a metal knife, because nitrocellulose lacquer will melt all plastics. And so I'll just dip out a little bit into there and we want to make the composition that is now inside this glass into a honey consistency. Okay now at this point we'll need to work kind of quickly and weigh out another five grams of E-Match Bottle B and the nitrocellulose lacquer will be evaporating rather quickly at this point. And now we will just add this right into our nitrocellulose slurry. Okay, at this point the primer is now at the proper consistency and we can start dipping our bridge wires in there. And then as soon as we dip them in we'll go ahead and hang them to dry. Now what I'm going to do to dip these bridge wires is to just barely stick the tip inside this composition and get a very small little ball at the end just like that if you can see it there and it doesn't take much primer on the end of these this is uh, basically supposed to just be a thin coating that will ignite a less flammable mixture so I'll go ahead and start hanging these up what you see right here is the primer left over after coating 40 bridge wires. As you can see, the 10 grams that we started with goes a very long way. You could probably coat about 200 bridge wires with this. But for now, I'm going to move on to the next step and coat the uh, bridge wires now in prime rather than primer. And uh, that'll be the second coat. And uh, to clean this out, I'll just rinse it out with acetone and then uh, some water after that. So. I'll get back to you in a minute here. Okay, now the next step is to mix together the chemicals that are found in bottle C. Now those would be this bag of a white chemical here and this bag of a black chemical right here. I suspect this is perchlorate and charcoal, but I'm not sure. Now what I'll do is go ahead and put these right back into the container. Okay, now we will close the lid on this and get a nice tight seal and then just kind of shake it a little bit sideways just like that. Okay, so now we have composition C mixed and we will weigh out 5 grams on a fresh paper plate here on our scale. Now you can see volume wise, 5 grams of this composition is much more than 5 grams of each of the individual chemicals that we weighed earlier for the primer. Now this mixture here is what is called the prime. Now what we did in the beginning was the primer and that's a um, composition that is more sensitive to heat than this. This is a less sensitive chemical but will provide um, more fire once the uh, match head is ignited. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and dump this back into our now clean glassware. Now in a similar way to what we did before, I'll go ahead and take my nitrocellulose lacquer and put it in here until we reach a honey-like consistency once again. Okay, so here is our prime and we can start dipping our pre-coated match heads into this. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now that our E-matches are coated with both primer and prime, and they started off looking like this, just a bare bridge wire like that, we can go ahead and give them their final coat of nitrocellulose lacquer, and that is the final step. Okay, once again, I'll put a little nitrocellulose lacquer into our measuring cup here. This time there is no other composition. This is just going to be a final protective and waterproof coating to our matches. And I'll just put as much as I think I need to coat these heads here. It's probably not going to take very much. Okay, and now I'll just start dipping these into my nitrocellulose. Okay, now you can see these match heads have become a high gloss with that extra little layer of nitrocellulose on there. So now I'll just let these hang to dry and they will be ready to go. Here's our final test with a AA battery.